How's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome to RimWorld Season 2. Now oh, I should probably put things on pause <laughs> before they get too far ahead. Season 2, Lord of the Rims. So this is going to be a modded playthrough of the game, as you can tell probably by the various dwarves running around here. So this is our start. Uh, we've got... I guess I should just go through them for you. We've got Dooley, our um, dwarf blacksmith, a terrace, who's uh, actually Dooley's lover, and she's got a lot of great skills as well. She's a night owl. Tomley, optimist, good cook, good crafting, but not too much ability, but he'll get there. And finally, last but not least, Telroar, who's good at cooking, won't do dumb labor, but he's also our he's also our doctor. And he's a xenophobe. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we've also got with our start, we've got uh, Clavdia, our female grizzly and sailor, our giant boar, as well as three pigs, Wilfred, Trucker, and Pickwick. I actually created a separate video showing the world generation and character selection. Uh, there'll be a card up top if you want to check that out. So the mod list is going to be on a uh, Steam community page. Uh, there'll be a link down in the description if you want to check out the mods that we're using here, as well as if you want to give it a whirl yourself. All right, well, let's get things started. Um, let's let's pick out gear for everyone. Okay, so you don't have too much ability. Shooting in melee is pretty even. Shooting for Tomil. And definitely melee for Teldor. Okay, well, let's give, let's see. Actually, let's, first off, let's unforbid, oops. Unforbid everything on the map. There we go. We'll make things easier. So Tomil will take the horn bow. Uh, I don't think we've actually been gifted any melee weapons to start. Just some gear. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see. In terms of melee, I think it's going to be Teldor. Yeah, you're actually a better shot. So we'll give Ataris the uh, that armor in Teldor. We'll get this armor plus the helmet. First things first, in any Rim World start, we need to set up a few things. So I'm going to run around and do that, and I'll bring you back in in just a moment. All right, so I've got things set up, like growing zones and um, people's work priorities based on their skills, so we got everything covered. I mean, kind of went through and, you know, tried to select three, uh, three, <laughs> so used to playing Crash Landed and whatnot, four dwarves of reasonable ability, not, you know, the absolute best or anything, you know, don't want to make it easier for our easy for ourselves, but, you know, instead of being a Crash where we don't really have any control over who's with us because we're, you know, crashing out of a spaceship. We're four dwarves that have decided to strike out and make a new colony, so didn't feel like I needed to be quite as picky or quite as, um, or I could be a little bit more picky, I guess I should say. <laughs> All right, I'm just looking at a few things here that are going into the uh, stockpile zone that I don't really want to. So just gonna take care of that quickly. Um, where are we raw resources? Anything that's going to uh, that can stay outside can doesn't need to be in there. Mainly want that area for perishables. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to select them in here. Raw resources. That's what we're trying to do. Stone blocks, gold. Here we go, just all of these please store outside. And I guess one thing we should do too... Um, 
Oh yeah, I mean, we have to force someone to make these. We should have... What's everyone doing? No one's pulling in the wood here. Okay, guys. Going for a walk. Wonderful. Can we, um... Let's, uh, prioritize hauling wood. Yeah, all that, please. And Taurus, where are you? You're dumping off stuff. Going for a walk. Okay, you can pick that up. There we go. Because I want to get these beds made, if at all possible. We can make that tonight, so we can sleep in that. Uh, I should point out, too, we've got a Smilodon populator. <laughs> so, basically a saber-toothed tiger. They look absolutely gorgeous, and I'd love, I'd love to tame a couple eventually, because we've got Giddy up. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I guess I should go through the um, at least some of the mods. So obviously we've got Lord of the Rims. I also added uh, Fantasy Goblins, because that looks really nice. I was actually really impressed with that mod when I kind of took a quick spin around, quick little test world, take a look at it. It uh, it's, looks really well done. Just really nicely done, lots of detail. Really enjoyed that one, so that one's on the list, as well as uh, we've got Giddy Up, as I mentioned earlier. And that is going to be our main form of combat, because we don't have a whole lot of options for ranged combat beyond uh, simple things like arrows and whatnot. So it's main the plan is that we're mainly going to be riding animals into combat, and uh, that is going to be it. So it should be interesting, should provide a little bit more challenge. Uh, what else? We've got Hospitality, Rim Quest, Roads of the Rim, because I want to be able to build roads. I guess I should show you where we've set up, We're right here in the uh, Krika range of mountains. So this is the exit there out to basically the west rest of the world. So I'd like to build a road to there as well as maybe connect a few other roads. So we don't have to go quite so far around to get to other people. There may be a certain amount of caravanning. We'll have to see. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, a few other fun things added. Sometimes raids go wrong. So that should provide some entertainment, I hope. And a whole bunch of quality of life mods and whatnot. Maybe not everything you might expect as quality of life mods. I don't like to make the game easier. I like to make it interesting, if that makes sense. Um, so anything that I kind of feel is a little too overpowered or a little too... Um, there's a difference between convenience and making things easy. Yeah, I don't know. It'll probably become clearer as we play. <laughs> uh, and also got a few other things like uh, gloomy furniture. That looks really gorgeous and should fit very well with the overall... Middle Earth chic, <laughs> if that makes any sense, style that we're going for. Really wish you'd move away, further away. We, there's no way we can tame you right now, and eventually you're going to get hungry. Uh, okay, looks like we got some of these things started. Good. Nope. Teldor. Actually, let's prioritize working on the beds. So we've got it. We've already got Artaris sleeping outside. So she's not going to be too happy about that. Yeah. And if I could get you to prioritize the rest of them and get the rest of them made. I would like to make this room a little bit bigger so we can, you know, move around a little easier. We're a little starting barracks there, but yeah. Okay, good. Thank you for working on that. Where is everyone else at? Sowing rice. Oh, good. Yes. So we got planting zone set up, so we've got rice for a fast crop. We've got, what is this, cotton, yeah, to get uh, clothes going. Some more rice over here, and some hay grass over here for a couple of our animals. Although we may have to figure out our boar. What you're going to do? What are you going to eat? Actually, no, you can eat vegetables, can't you? Vegetables, live plants, vegetables, yes. Vegetables, live plants. Okay. It's a bear, isn't it? The bear cannot eat live plants. Yeah, so you can't... That's the only one that can... Can't just graze. Oh, we're gonna get some piggies. We're gonna get some piggies soon. Good stuff. Oh, Teldor, you're working outside again. Okay, we're... Beds. Those are the important ones. 
Although now that you've done that, let's get, um, uh, let's start that deconstruction. I'll just kind of pay attention to you. Make sure that uh, you build these beds and close it all off before we finish that off. Oh, Taurus is awake again. Probably a little, yeah, well, not too bad for sleeping outside. She's a dwarf. She's strong. Tell her where you go now. Uh, nope. Oh, you're already working on the uh, Hollingwood to wall. Um, that's not a wall, that's a bed. Oh well, we'll get it done. Yeah, let's see. 1700 hours, getting a little later. And then, yeah, once we get this done, this should be good. We can start working on, this is going to be our production area. But let's, let's get somewhere to sleep first. There we go. Outside wall just needs to be completed. Get the front door done. And that pig just ate some heel root. Dang it. <laughs> uh dear. I should really go around the map and look for heel root to harvest. Because I don't think... None of our colonists have the ability to actually grow it. Uh, you know what I should do? Oop, no, that was right. Yeah, there we go. This mod should allow us to see what what is already ready to be harvested. Yeah, that one is. If it's white, we can harvest it. If it's not white, there we go. Oh, there we go. If it's green, then it's just becoming ready. Okay, not too much right now. I guess it is only the 11th of April, May. It's just springtime. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Telroar. Alright, you can get that hauled out. Everyone can go and have a nice sleep in an actual bed tonight. Perfect. You know, as much fun as it's going to be to have our animals wandering in and, in and out of our, um, our barracks here, maybe we should set up a uh, an animal zone. Uh, let's see... Oh no, wait, going at the wrong spot. Manage areas. Let's add a new area. Oh no, we can just uh, rename this one. Okay. Uh, let's just call it the ranch. There we go. Okay. And then let's see. Expand the ranch. Um, actually, we'll need a fairly sizable area because our grazers are mainly just going to grays here, so let's do that, and then assign all our animals. There we go. And that way they're also nearby us, especially the bear and the boar. Once there's a raid... Taurus, are you sleep? No, you're stargazing. Okay, good. I was worried that you were not sleeping in the beds, you were just... I don't know, flopped out there again. Okay, that is fine. Looks like we've got most things from around the map. Got cotton being sewn. Good. Good, good, good. I guess one thing we are going to have to do... Um, with Lord of the Rims, steel is actually a produced item. So this is the steel from around the map, because we unforbade everything. But after that, we mine ore, and then from there we'll process it into being steel. So we should probably deconstruct a couple of these things. We also need we'll need a couple of them for building some for production tables. I think uh, forge requires some actual stone, not just wood. Oh good! Ataris is playing at our wooden horseshoe pit. Excellent! Good. That is good because it got made in time. <laughs> yes, if you pick up the steel, you're probably going to disturb everyone's sleep, but that's okay. Wow, you've tiptoed in and no one noticed. These are har hardy sleepers. You guys sleep like rocks. <laughs> I guess dwarves sleep pretty soundly, so that's good. This will be nice to actually have a night owl uh, early on in the campaign to actually run around and do things at night. That will be nice just hauling and clearing things off. Uh, we can even get a few of these things uh, moved out as we continue to sow these areas. 
Actually, maybe what I should do at this time is actually set up some production to get started. Um, so we are going to need... Okay, so for blacksmith forge, we need 30 iron, 100 granite. Uh, we, looks like we can probably switch it to another type of stone. Okay. So I guess we will need a stone cutter's table pretty quickly then. And we need iron for that. Yeah, that's why I set that up for to be mined or to be deconstructed. Maybe we should set one of these things to be mined. A little little deposit. Um, you're up there. Let's leave you alone a little bit. Uh, let's dig in here. Let's see. There. Yeah, that's a fair size deposit. And I think Ataris is... Yeah, you're set to be mine. You're set to mining. Good. Once you haul in some stuff, you might start on that. Okay. Good, good, good. But that's true. Before I forget again... Oops. Production. Here we go. Um, field stove. Stone cutter's table. Let's see, how big is this anyways? Oh, I can't build it until I've got usable uh, materials. Alright, fine. There, that'll go in there. And... Oh, I did see in here. Yeah, there's a field stove that only requires wood. Which is kind of nice. I think we'll do that. Not because I want to make it easier. It's wood instead of iron, but iron's easy to find on the map. Um, yeah, there we go. We should be able to fit it in. Should be able to fit it in there. Yeah, that works. Okay. You have a fine meal on you. Ah, you must have brought that with you. Won't be eating those for a little while around here. <laughs> we'll get there, but uh, not right now. Oh, good, and you can start constructing that right away. Excellent. Yes, we can get some field stove set up. Oh, and our Tyrus has already finished the field stove. Nice. And this is what I mean about the gloomy mod. Gloomy furniture mod. It just looks really nice. And it'll, it'll fit really well with what we want to do here. Oh, good, we're... Oh, that's the sound of a dwarf mining. Look at him go. Dooley, you're just destroying this. Awesome. That is wonderful. Good. And Taurus is demoing some buildings here. Got some limestone. And these guys are going to take a, look, a few swigs at the horseshoe pin. Uh, oh, our bear has found some food for himself. Good. That is good. I guess as long as he can kind of roam around enough, <laughs> find animals that uh, come into our area here. May have to set him to unrestricted so that he's he can go a little further afield. Or she, I guess. She! Yeah, maybe we should do that. We've already got the bricks. We've got the, steel, the iron now. It's going to be a, a little bit of work to remind myself that it's steel, not iron. Or that's iron, not steel. Anyways, uh, let's get this fling flipped around. Uh, okay, it's gonna impact that stockpile a little bit, but that's okay. Once we make that, we can make start making some weapons. Which would be really nice, because aside from the bow, we're all unarmed. It's all just dwarves fighting with their mighty fists. Which would not be bad, but having a simple weapon would be nice. <laughs> Heat wave. Great. Um. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do that about that. That's just basically. Uh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no ability to or to cool ourselves, and we're not deep enough into the mountains yet. I mean, eventually we're gonna dig into this area here. This nice. Big area. We'll make a nice stronghold entrance kind of around here, and then it'll get into the mountains, but that is a ways off. We need to establish ourselves first. So yeah, it's 30 degrees outside. It's 30 degrees inside. Um, 
just out of curiosity. Okay, we're comfortable up to 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's pretty good. Hopefully we can make make it through this without getting too much heat stroke because um, jumping in the water doesn't actually cool you off. So yeah. Now I got the ding for need defenses. Yeah, we do. Actually, who is our best, best constructor? Teldar is doing it, and he is our best constructor, so that works. <laughs> Perfect. Dooley is continuing to mine. All our plants are harvested, although we really might need to do something about this pack of muffalo. Really don't want them eating our crops. And are they doing that right now? Possibly. We might need an area whenever we get raided first. Um, yes, yeah, so we can capture somebody. Okay, let's deconstruct that. We can put a little itty bitty prisoner's room up there then. Okay, Teldor, keep working on that. Oh, Tars is working on some bricks. Excellent. Good stuff, guys. Yeah, Tummel's running around and he's needing to replant things because they keep getting eaten. Good stuff. All right, there we go. So let's add some bills. Yeah, we got lots of lots of good stuff. Uh, recurve bow. Yeah, lots of goblin weapons and whatnot that you get right away because they're kind of junk, but they're goblins. And what are you gonna do? Um. Yeah, let's make a recurve bow, and let's make. Two of these dwarf walking axes. Oh, area revealed. Oh yeah, that's probably our little area here. Perfect. Okay, let's put a door on that quickly. Actually, I don't need to slow down time. There we go. That can be our prisoner area. Um, we'll just slap down a little sleeping spot there. Just to remind ourselves what that's for. Not that I can really forget, I guess, but... Hey, you never know. All right. Oh, good. <laughs> Purple meds. It's going in it. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to spoil on their own. Okay, let's um, set this storage. Um, no, it's not for medicine or drugs. It's going to be for meals. Uh, actually, no, it's going to be for raw food. And meat. Yeah, raw meat. And yeah, we don't have any animals that we're actually getting animal products from, so that works. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to have to do that for each of them. Oh, good. Artaris is busily working on the first recurve bow, and it is raining out. <laughs> so, do we have a... We've got a roof over this now, don't we? Let's see. Yes, we do, over this whole area. Good. Good, good, good. And... What quality did you make? Good quality. Oh, wow. Excellent. Oh, and now that we're going to be here for a while, Ataris thinks we should name our faction. So I already went through and looked up online to get some Tolkien-esque names, or at least what I think is Tolkien-esque. Anyways. Um... Shakurul... Oh, wait. Kasari. And this settlement is going to be named... Zilgi... Yanarag. There we go. Did I get that right? Yep. Good. And that's basically... Look, like I said, looked up online, it should mean silver and black because the, um, the stone here is all kind of slate on one side and marble and lime on the other. Lime. Yes, it's all made of limes. <laughs> limestone. Uh, limestone and marble. So kind of white and black and kind of split kind of generally through the middle. You know, this is all the limestone and marble that you can see here, but... So I thought that'd be a neat, neat name. Anyways, 
For all I know, I've done it wrong and it means chicken butt. <laughs> okay, let's see. All this area cleared off. Yeah, we might have to hunt these mufflows. Although, oh, there he is. I was going to say, I thought I saw the uh, saber tooth tiger move up there. Alright, well. Maybe. Let's just kind of wait for our first raid. Oh wait, did someone pick up the recurve boat? No, okay. So let's get that assigned before our first raid does come. You've got an ability for shooting. So does Taurus. So let's just get you to equip that before you go to bed, if you don't mind. There you go. Okay, and yeah. We'll give Teldor and Dooley the melee weapons, and then I guess eventually we'll give him a, uh, a ranged weapon, but he doesn't really have any ability right now, so it's not going to matter too much either way. So one thing I would like to start doing is begin to mine into the mountain here and start our start our kingdom building. Um, oh, we've got rare thrombos. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see, um, yeah, so we can mine that out and start cutting in here until we get to Overhead Mountain, which may be right there. And then from there to start make, because we'll need to make rooms for guests, for hospitality, and these are the only two rooms we've got with that being a prison. And even that prison is just for one person. I can't even, can I even fit a second one? I could, technically. Wow, that would be crammed. Yeah. And dwarves being such awesome miners, they basically just destroy the mountain and make their way in, so... As we've been talking, Dooley here has already just cleared off what I gave him. <laughs> okay, so that is Overhead Mountain, so we'll start... So we'll start there. Um, so I think what we'll do... Let's just make a... A small room in here to start. Because we'll also need a production area for research bench and a few other things. So let's let's just start doing that. And the plan eventually will be we'll put up uh, pillars to hold up the overhead mountain through here. And basically this is going to be our main grand entrance way. And the rest of the colony is actually going to be back here a little further. But, first things first, we'll have to start carving out, and uh, once we get to a point where we've got rooms and and things, we can start moving out of this and moving into here. Yeah, that's the big, the grand plan, as it were. <laughs> How is this rice doing? Okay, we still got a heat wave, so I think it may be growing a little slower. Oh, the thrombo show up. He showed up right here. All right. Yeah, it was just a thrombo, not thrombos, but... Okay. Yeah, now he's probably going to demolish this tree. Great. So glad you're here. Demolishing the trees and everything. Rather, if you left, just come back later. Oh! Oh no! Pigwick! Oh no! Oh no! He's hunting Pickwick for food. I knew this was going to happen. I just didn't think it was going to happen right now. <laughs> uh, uh, Taurus, you've got a weapon. Dooley's sleeping. Um, actually, we're going to let you sleep. The other three are going to have to... Oh, there's not enough time. Domil, do you have something? Okay, yes. Can I get you... Here. Yeah, let's um, let's mount the bear. Taurus, let's get you up here too. And you're going to have to just grab that right now. Sorry. And then there. And come on up here. Quick, we need to save Pigwick. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now we're gonna attack. 
quick, quickly. Smile it on revenge. Ah, uh, quickly get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay, okay, okay. Get in there. Just stop right there. And charge in. Oh no. Wish I knew these mods better. <laughs> Quick, take it down. Don't take too many injuries. I don't know. How, okay, there. It's downed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to get um, training. Maybe it's... Yeah, probably release. Okay. Anyways. It's alright. We're okay. Let's see. Um, is there any chance that we can tame it? Let's just... Um, yeah. I don't have any food to tame it with, but let's give it a try. Uh, let's set up a little animal sleeping spot near it and see if we actually can do this. There we go. And who is... Uh, Warden Handle. Tyrus, and you're right there. Okay. Tyrus, if you could... Rescue and see if in rescuing we can um, get them to uh, join us. Um, hmm. Prioritize feeding reserve by trip. Okay. Okay, someone's doing it. That's fine. Hopefully all oh, good. He's healing its wounds. And our bear is attacking it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to stop them. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, no point trying to... Yeah, there you go. No point trying to heal it while the bear is actively trying to kill it right beside us. Okay, well... Get rid of that now. Oh, well, that didn't go as planned. But... That does remind me, we should get a butchering table set up, even if it's outside. Uh, yeah, let's just, um, can't really fit in here. Oh, sure we can. Yeah, we'll just slap it down right there. We don't have that much food or anything going on. Bad temperature. Ah, uh, lost our first pig. Well, um... Oh, good. Okay, so we've still got Wilfred and Trekker. We've still got a male and female. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to hunt these, um, these muffalo. They're just chewing through our food. That's not there for you guys to eat. Oh, wait. Teldor, are you being tended? Uh, bruise. Okay, you should be okay with just bruises. Actually, we came through that really okay. Alright, well, excellent. That is wonderful. Aw, oh, poor piggy. Poor Pickwick. Here, let's unforbid you. And... Here, let's get, um... Oh, Tommel's the only one that can't construct. Okay, so let's... Dooley, let's get you to finish need wood. Oh. All right, we can fix that. Let's chop some wood. There, that should be enough. And Tommel, can I get you to start working on that? Yes, good. So let's get these animals processed and put in the salted pots and we can start making some food. Oh good, the heat wave is finally over. Good, and Dooley, are you working on hauling wood to inventory? Okay. Alright, and good. Okay, now you're making this. Excellent. Yes, let's get this done. We can chop up poor Pickwick and the saber tooth tiger. And there we go, okay. Add Bill, Butcher Creature, and do forever. Ingredient radius, let's shrink it to right near us. There we go. Good. Okay, so someone should be able to start doing that. We'll be able to get some, some food made. 
Um, hmm. Dug that out. Excellent. Uh, oh, there we go. And there's poor Pegwick. <laughs> Pickwick. Pegwick. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter now in some respects. And there we go. Panthera fur. Yes, that makes sense. Good. I like it when mods actually work correctly or as you'd expect them to. <laughs> it's summer. Yep, we're on a bit of a tight timeline. Well, not too tight, really, in terms of food production, but um, yeah, once we get um, once we get this weapon made, I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna gather everyone, and we're gonna hunt all these buffalo. And yeah. Although, we don't have enough salted pots for that. Maybe we should start building some in here. Three, four... Uh, yeah, I think let's do that. And then let's also build a research bench. Um, actually, let's hold off on Let's get this done. We don't have that much wood. And we just used it all up. Okay. Chop wood. Let's get everything over here. There. A buck has self-tamed. Alright. Why not? We shall call you dinner. <laughs> not dinner today, but dinner at some point. Let's uh, copy settings and do this a little bit more efficiently. There we go. We just want meat in here. Yep, take that away. Thank you. But yeah, we're not going to harvest you... Harvest? We're not going to hunt uh, the buck right this moment. But let's get it over to the ranch at least. And yeah, the ranch is already starting to... Well, it's probably these mufflows that are eating half the grasses here. Yeah, we really need to get that finished. Oh, and the walking axe is done. Alright. You could equip that. I think... Oh, yeah, if you can equip that. Let's see. Copy settings. Paste settings. And all these. There we go. This will be for meat. And yeah, we'll get a research bench in there in a little bit, but one thing at a time. want to get these guys taken care of. I am surprised we haven't had our first raid yet. It is now... You know, it's now summer. We still haven't had our first raid. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come soon enough. But the good thing is we are equipped for it now. We've at least... Everyone's got weapons. So that is good. Oh, hold on, hold on. These things. And switch over these salted pots. Good. And you'll probably pick that up and then haul it back. Well, you're gonna haul some of it back. Okay. Well, that's fine. Is any of this grown yet? Nope. <laughs> nope, not at all. Should get these animals set to be. Actually, I'm gonna have to look up Giddy Up. I haven't used that mod before, and I'm not familiar with it, so I'm not sure how to get. I know you can get animals. Uh, to fight in uh, combat as well. But anyways, we'll sort that out. I'll have a look through. Still, like I said, learning some of these mods. And if you have any tips or tricks or any suggestions, let me know. I am all ears. But I think for now, we're going to leave it here. Oh, good. We're harvesting. Wonderful. Got some rice coming in. Good, good, good. Just when our food was just running out. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave it here. But thanks everyone for watching. Really looking forward to this series. Really excited about it. I hope you enjoyed. All right. Take care.